Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Fish with Forstheld after the open beta release on Steam. Um, you see here we have the um, entry mask to create our account. Um, it's a free to play title so you only have to give your email address and a password, username um, and you can join the game and fish. And I want to show you on in this Let's Play how to do it. So let's create an account. Um, I did this here. Okay, let's click join. Um, now the game is loading. Um, and while it's loading, first of all, um, we have to do a tutorial. I did this in the fast forward mode. So enjoy it. Sorry guys to interrupt you, but this is the only point in the tutorial what is really crucial and um, specific to this game. Here we should go to the shop and get a fish keeper. And a fish keeper is a keep net or a stringer. Um, and that's a essential tool to keep your fish and don't have uh, that you don't have to release them. Only if you can keep fish you can sell them afterwards and uh, earn in-game currencies. There are two different in-game currencies. You see in the upper right corner, um, I call it um, bucks or dollars and coins. Um, so there you get forced to buy a, a fish keeper, keeper and this is a stringer. But um, in the game you will see as we progress, we have to buy other fish keepers and so on and so on. I explain it later, so have fun with the rest of the tutorial. Okay guys, now we accomplished our tutorial and here you see the today result uh, board. We see our fish, we caught at the end, it's a crappy with 1.1 pound, um, worth 8 bucks reward. Um, you see um, 8, 8 bucks reward, you see it here. Um, and if you look um, downwards, um, you see we caught 4 fish and one trophy sized fish here. Four fish, one trophy sized fish. So um, in total we earned um, 10 stars for the um, for the leveling up and get eight bucks um, in total. Okay, so if we click or uh, press the spacebar um, we can see another um, column or another board and this board is the fishing results total. Um, that means that um, if you do a trip more than one day, then it sums up all days. We get for each day the board we saw before, and now we get the total result. And here you see the travel costs, 50 bucks, and our earning, 8 bucks. Um, and that explains pretty much the, the whole principle of the game. You, you have to try in, uh, to catch, to keep more fi uh, fish that are more worth worth than the costs of the traveling so that you at least don't lose money or in the best case you earn some money to buy stuff because you need bait you need traveling you need licenses and stuff and um, to progress in the game you have to um, catch fish and earn money to get these costs you see here we get a daily bonus um, if we log in um, we get some bucks or some coins so 
um, if you run out of money, you have to log in a few days and then you get um, some of the in-game currency. Okay, S so now we leveled up to level 2 after accomplishing the tutorial and we are now at level 2. We get the uh, basic pack, um, I show you in a moment. Um, this is the world map and you see there's every lake is um, locked up um, but in this is the main the main screen and there you can go fishing or in the store or into your profile and stuff like that so um, here for example I show you uh, North Carolina and um, you see left there's weather and at level 11 we can go there um, here is level 5 level 8 um, level 14 so see if you if we reach different levels we um, can um, unlock different lakes and fish there but it's not so easy no, uh, if you have the level uh, you, you have to um, get licenses if you look at the um, right where you see the different fishes this is our home state there is one yellowish and yellowish means we can catch every size of the species if it's red uh, uh, I have to correct me, not we can't catch them, but we can't keep them, that's a difference. We c if we catch them, we have to release them. Um, and if it's red, we have to release all sizes. If it's yellow, we have to read in the, in the licenses we have um, what size we have to release or not. But if you have the fish, it's always um, noted um, before you keep or release them, if it's a must release or not. So. In this case, it's the pike. Um, this is our inventory. What this is what we got in our basic package. It's a telefloat rod um, with a bobber, uh, different hooks you see on the right, three sizes, different baits, um, bread and red worms, a reel, the fish uh, stringer we bought, and and a line. That's basically all we had in the beginning, and that's all we need in the beginning. We have two different baits. Um, maybe not all we need. M maybe we can go uh, and have a look in the store. But in the beginning, um, don't buy everything. The store is really, um, really big. Um, something for the hook sizes. Um, if you don't into fishing, um, the bigger the number, the smaller the hook. Except there is a, a zero behind, then it's different. But the the first hooks you got the ten size ten hook is the smallest the size six hook is the biggest so now we are in the fishing planet mega store for the stores you have to um, know if we are on the world world map we get to the fishing planet mega store where you can get everything if we are uh, on a trip on a location on every location there is a local store this local store isn't that big you can't get everything but most you need uh, or, or many things you need at this specific location okay so let's go to the store um, you see it here we can buy rods here you see rods different types of rods spinning rods match rods um, you see that's a really um, there there are many many different rods um, you here see only the spinning rods, um, reels. This is these are only the spinning reels. Many, many different reels. Um, it goes on and on, uh, um, many different lines. And uh, if you look uh, uh, correctly, you see some of the um, articles you can buy for coins, some of them you have to buy for bucks. Here we have different, um, different fish keepers. And that's a very interesting point. If you look at the right, our f our short um, fish stringer we have, we can uh, max single weight fish of eight uh, three pounds and a total weight of nine pounds. If we have a total weight of nine pounds kept, um, our fish stringer is full, and we have to um, end the fishing day. Only the day, not the trip, but we have to end the fishing day. And if a fish is bigger than three pounds, we can't keep them because our stringer isn't um, big enough for the fish, so we have to release them. So um, in the progress of the game, you always have to look um, how big get the fish we can catch um, and um, 
to keep them and to um, sell them. And s s at some point, uh, for strategic reasons, you go for go after fish you can't kept, but to increase your um, level. Um, to buy something or so on. Here we have um, uh, other equipment like um, here uh, a rod case or vests or toolboxes and stuff. Um, the the different rod cases you can um, carry more. Uh, the bigger the rod case, you can carry more and more rods. The bigger the um, toolbox, you can um, carry more tackle to the shoreline and to the on a trip. If if, if you um, only have um, if you have nothing, you only can get 10, ten tackle items, but at the beginning that's enough. You see here um, different bobbers, um, different lures. But here is an important part, the different licenses. Here, Missouri is our home state, it's where we begin. You have to buy them too. Um, the basic Missouri license we have unlimited already, so we don't have to care about uh, this one. But What's about the advanced license? Okay, if you don't have the advanced license, you can read it right. Um, we must release all grass pickerels and we have to keep all regu regular size panfish. Um, if we buy the advanced license, um, all limitations are gone, so we can um, keep and release whatever we want. This is uh, available at level three. But for the beginning, um, believe me, it isn't necessary to buy this um, license. Keep your money tight in the beginning so that you have a good foundation. And if you have the good foundation, um, you, you can go crazy and buy whatever you want. Okay, um, you can buy whatever you want from the beginning on. Thi what I want to show, uh, show you here, okay, um, here, uh, have to break a little. Um, I buy. I bought cheese because this that's a good um, a good bait for um, catfish, and we have catfish in Missouri. I want to show you that. So let's go for cats in Missouri. Um, you can um, buy whatever you want. Yeah. What I want to show you in this video or in these videos um, is how you can um, level up fast and earn money fast. That's maybe not the most fun and it's not the best way to play it or whatever. I don't care. Um, you don't have to do it. I only want to show you how it works if you don't spend a dime and you want to have fun with the game. Remember, if we skip some locations, um, even we can go there from the level, but we skip them for economic reasons because it's expensive or so, you, ever uh, you are always free to go back. If, if you have a, a higher level, you can go back with better rods, better equipment, and so on and so on. Um, what I show you uh, there is that every day costs. So here the traveling costs to Missouri are 20 because it's our home state, it's very cheap, and every day costs um, five bucks. So 25 bucks is, is the invest for the first day. If we stay a second day, it costs five bucks, bucks more, so it's 30 bucks. So you always should keep that in mind, uh, that the money um, you spend to go there, you, you, you want to get it back at some point. So now we look when it's the best day time for fishing. It's cloudy and uh, on the graph you can see uh, after um, midday, after 12 o'clock, the fish are most active. You can go for 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. It's a high level and then it stays pretty high. We have two packs. We choose the um, this one, the um, last long of summer. It's the classic starting point for every um, newcomer in the game, I, I would say. Um, so, um, look careful at these graphs because th these are a good indication. It shows the activity of the fish. The more active the fish, the better chances you have to catch one. If you see, if it's sunny, the next day is sunny, you see the differences between the activities. So it's a, a good advice to at least have a little look um, or learn how the activity on the different weather is. So let's go to the shore lake. Yeah, you see, we have a jet. I explained that in the closed beta, but I will do it. Be friendly. I 
I'm always be friendly, say hi to all, and if 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 you um if someone asks you and you you have the answer, don't don't be a don't be a dumbass. Um, help them because we all want to have fun. Good tip: hit F1 for um for the um, overview what you can do with the with the keys. Now we have our rod. Um, you see, I fast forward the time by pressing T, that's possible. I go for I um, six hours, so it's 11. You see, 11 is the beginning of the uh, activity phase. Um, now um, I, I change the leader length because um, we want to catch a catfish. And catfishes are um, bottom orientated fishes, so um, um, go deep. The max maximum depth you can go, a leader depth is 99 inches, and the uh, shallowest is 10 inches. Or um, in, in metric system, 2.5 meter or 10 centimeters. Okay. So let's see if we can catch something. Um, you see, um, it's the Mudwater River, and a river has a current. And what you now can see is that uh, the bobber drifts from left to right, um, and our line also drifted and, and get a bow. Um, always try to um, get let this bow, this um, line bow, um, keep keep them small, keep tight. Keep in tight in touch with the with the bobber. So if you have to strike, um, that you you get a a, a clean strike on the fish. Um, okay, that was too early. No, it wasn't too early. Um, uh, what happened is I I wasn't tight. It was the line bow. I explained it. Okay, and I I didn't watch for the. Um, for the line bow, so um, that was the problem. Okay, some other stuff. Um, on the right side, in the upper right corner, you see what hook size we use and what bait we use and how much bait we have. The 49 is we have 49 um, cheese pieces, um, hook size 8. Um, I, I uh, suggest you go for hook size 6 for the biggest you have in the beginning. Um, I just forget to change it. Um, then we have an icon of the bobber, and there you can exactly see what's going on on the bobber. Don't strike too early, only strike for a clear bite indication. You see these nibblers now, um, this, this, that isn't a good reason to strike. The, the bobber should go to the left and to the right and hit these uh, lines, or go straight under the surface, or come up over the surface and lay flat. Maybe we see these different type of bites. Um, Below this, it's a uh, now you see it's on the right side of the line. I strike, and we get our first fish in free fishing. Now you see flickering the. Uh, now you see uh, first we have a look at our fish. It's a young channel catfish. Um, maybe you saw it. If not, rewind. Yeah, yeah we le let's have a look at our young channel catfish. Um, in the fish keep net, and you see we get five experience points, and we get a reward of um, four bucks. The only place where we can see how much we get for the fish is in is in this menu before um, before we um, leave the location. If we leave or go to the next day, then we see it also. Okay, we get four bucks. Remember, twenty five to earn. Um, so. Um, we have at least seven of them. We have to catch at least seven of them in this size. Um, this is our profile. We see these three different types of fish. The, the bottom ones we catched in the tutorial and now our young channel catfish. At the left side, and that's interesting, um, uh, experience to the next level. We now have 15 experience points because we, and we have to um, gain 100 to reach the next level. Um, and we won't do this fast. We won't earn money 
and we want um, uh, earn experience points. You can earn experience points also by doing these achievements on the right side. Um, there are many achievements you can have a look. Um, they get you start with bronze, then silver, then gold, and so on and so on. Okay, let's go fishing again. Let's explain again the the icons on the right side. This long long bar, which is flickering bluish, um, it it shows the line tension. Um, and if it goes to into reddish, um, the line can broke, or the reel can broke, or the rod can broke. Um, for a second, when we catch our first catfish, um, you see our reel is flickering yellowish. Yellow is uh, that means oh the reel is in heavy heavy use. If you um, put more force on the reel, the reel could uh, break. You see there, yellow, yellow again. Okay, another cat, nearly the same size. Yeah, um, nearly the same size than the other one. Um, again, five, five stars. So now we are twenty, eighty to go for the next level, um, and we can release or keep them. Remember, if this is a, a catfish with a with 3.5, we can't keep them because it's too big for our um, for our keeper. Okay. Um, maybe you no now notice on the on the down right the circle. There are so some highlighted segments and they are off highlighted. This is the drag power, um, and the drag power. That means uh, how much um, resistance gives the reel to, uh, to uh, let out line. And um, as we catch our last fish, um, the the reel flickering yellowish. So and our drag power was at four, and now I I only have three highlighted um, segments. So our drag power is at three. So that means um, now if the the line the reel gives line um, earlier if the force is enough so the force don't go on the reel it because the line goes off so the fish can run away and don't break the reel so adjust your drag so now we had a clear bite under the water okay next fish nice another young channel you see this is a little bit smaller, so we only get uh, four experience points. Okay. So, um, I would say um, we change the hook and we see us in the next episode what we can catch on red worms. So, tight lines and hope you I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Put a criticism or what you find good um, below in the comments and I show you in the next episode um, what we can catch with red worms and what is the best way to improve our our leveling up. So see you soon and tight lines to all of you. <laughs>